and last up, we got the big one. Uh, ironically, it's the smallest one of the three that I bought. Uh, Mobius Models, brand new. The Bat Pod from uh, The Dark Knight. Um, only just started popping up at online stores within the last 10 days or so. I don't know how in the hell my hobby shop got one in so quickly. Um, I was talking with one of the guys in there just on Tuesday. It's Thursday today. And he said, no chance we're going to get it in by uh, before before the new year. And I, I walk in the store, and uh, I see him there today. And he runs down the hall, and runs to the sci-fi section, grabs something, tosses it at me. It's the freaking bat pod. I couldn't believe it. I could not freaking believe it. Um, very excited. Um, with what with all the uh, the fervor this week over the release of the uh, the the first uh, tr uh, full trailer for Dark Knight Rises, the seven minute prologue attached to Mission Impossible Four. I just saw Mission Impossible and IMAX the other day, and they didn't have the prologue. It was so sad. But uh, I have seen the trailer, and it looks really, really good. Um, I mean, it's Christopher Nolan, man. The guy does not make bad movies. But uh, it's a, like I said, it's a really, really nice looking kit. It's very small, though. Um, it's in 125th scale, which uh, also the same, the same friend of mine at the, at the hobby shop is very, very excited because now uh, with this in 25th scale, and they're also doing the Tumblr Batmobile from Batman Begins uh, and The Dark Knight um, in the same scale, as well as figures of Batman and the Joker in the same scale. Um, that'll mean basically every, every Batmobile from any movie or TV series, live action, um, will be available now in 25th scale. So he's kind of a, he's kind of a quirky fella, so he's got uh, this diorama that he built years ago of... Um, of uh, like a donut shop with all these uh, superhero figures um, standing outside and it's in 25th scale and he's got like one or two Batmobiles and he wants to have all of them sitting out front of it um, so this is kind of his chance to have like every single Batmobile from the Adam West series through to the Tumblr and everything in between um, so he's very very excited about that and uh, this will be a nice addition so let's uh, let's crack her open and see what we got all right, so uh, front of the box, we've got this very dramatic-looking painting of uh, Batman uh, riding the Bat Pod, um, cape blowing in the wind. It's uh, very, uh, very well, well painted, very dramatic. Uh, backside, uh, we've got uh, a photo of the completed model, as well as uh, co-cells for the uh, the Tumblr Batmobile and uh, the Batman and Joker figures. Um, Oh, it says four-figure set includes uh, uh, driver for Bat Pod and driver for Batmobile, as well as presumably a standing figure um, with uh, with the Joker. So that's uh, that's a very nice touch. So you'll be able to actually uh, uh, display them with uh, with riders and drivers, um, which is cool. Nice sturdy box, um, very solid. Um, a couple of big tires, big, sturdy, solid vinyl tires. Um, very chunky. I mean, the Bat Pod itself is built out of uh, the front end of the uh, the tumbler when it self destructs in the Dark Knight. Um, the whole front end essentially just disengages and uh, becomes a separate vehicle. But um, yeah, those are some pretty nice, uh, nice big, chunky tires. Good tread. Not seeing any uh, flashing or mold lines anywhere on them. Uh, very nicely put together. Um, it's a fairly simple kit from the looks of it. Only two runners. Um, so yeah, you got. Uh, well, here, let me just open this up. So all right, uh, here you've got the uh, the twin cannons on the front end, which have uh, the the large barrel cannons, the machine guns, and the grapplers. Um, I believe this must be part of the seat. These, I think, are like the forearm gauntlets, uh, parts of the frame, uh, foot pads maybe, um, uh, disc brakes, bunch of other odds and ends. Tough to recognize because it's such an abstract design, but um, 
It all looks to be uh, very nicely uh, molded. Uh, some rivet detail here. Um, some few, a few bits and pieces that look like they would have been better suited if they were uh, molded separately. Like right here, this looks like uh, like a piston of some kind that uh, should have been done as a separate part. You can kind of see it. Uh, it uh, could have done with, uh, you know, there's no undercut to it, so it uh, it looks a little bit gimpy. But um, otherwise, really nicely done on the first runner. Uh, next up. Um, uh, we've got the uh, the wheel rims, um, uh, data plate. Um, not sure what purpose it serves besides just being, just saying Mobius models made in China. Um, axles for the uh, for the wheels. Um, some kind of uh, swing arm. Not really sure. Uh, hand controls. Uh, shocks. More swing arms and. Uh, Lots of stuff I don't recognize. I mean, once it goes together, it'll be easy to tell what everything is, but, um, yeah, everything's... It's such an odd vehicle, you know, so it's hard to identify what everything is. It's all so very abstract. But, uh, again, it all looks nice. Like, the, the casting is really, really nicely done. Finally, we got our instruction booklet. Uh, fairly simple. Three-page fold-out. Um, starts with uh, assembly of the frame, um, and uh, then the wheels, which include uh, the uh, cannon assemblies, uh, suspensions, and then the uh, hand controls and final assembly. Um, not really a, uh, a paint guide that I can see. Um, there's no uh, no decals for this kit, um, so yeah, that's it's pretty simple. Oh, there's a, a simple paint guide on the back here. Um, you know, cannon tip silver, uh, gun barrels black, uh, brake levers silver, uh, CO2 cartridges black. You know, I mean, it's Batman, so everything's going to be black, <laughs> black or silver. Uh, and then we've got our co-cells of the uh, the Batman and uh, Joker figures, as well as the Tumblr Batmobile, um, and some a uh, little bit of bio info here about the uh, the Batpod itself. It's pretty small. <laughs> um, scale wise, it looks like it's probably only going to be about eight inches long. Um, it's kind of funny actually when uh, the Dark Knight came out on Blu-ray a couple of years ago. Uh, there was a limited edition version of it that uh, the movie came in like a, a, a fancy plastic case, but it also came with a scale replica of the Bat Pod. And it looks like it's about the same scale as this. Um, it's, it was fairly basic, but uh, you know, all the detail was there. It was just kind of simple. Uh, not the best paint job, but um, you know, it's on my shelf and I like it. But uh, I think this one's going to look a lot better, and I can't wait until the figures come out. Um, so you can put it all together and have, uh, you know, Batman running down the Joker. Um, and I'm really excited for the, uh, the 25th scale uh, Tumblr Batmobile. Because it's just such a... An... Wow, it's a crazy design. And the only version of it that's ever been done is uh, the EX model from Bandai from 2006, maybe? 2005? Uh, and that was in 35th scale, so it was only about that big. Whereas in 25th scale, it's probably going to be, you know, it'll be closer to about five, six inches long. I don't, no, it'd be bigger than that. No, the, what am I saying? I had the uh, the Bandai uh, tumbler, and it was it was really small. I don't remember if it was 35th scale or not, but it was really really small. Regardless, but um, the new one should be much much bigger and. Uh, Hopefully the detail will uh, will hold up with uh, with uh, uh, the quality of Bandai's, um, and hopefully this won't be the last of uh, their foray into Batman kits. I'd really like to see them do the uh, the new Batwing or whatever Batman's flying vehicle from uh, the new movie is going to be when it finally comes out. Um, so yeah, I'm, uh, I'm really excited to see that new movie, even though it's still six months away. Um, 
Uh, so that's all we've got left to look at for today. I'm probably the most excited about the BatPod, actually. It's the smallest, it's the most simple kit, but it's the freaking BatPod, you know? I never would have thought they would ever do a kit of the BatPod. In any scale. <laughs> I figured if I ever wanted, uh, you know, if I ever wanted anything more than just that simple shelf display model I got with the Blu-ray uh, disc, um, I would have to get the Hot Toys 1 12th scale, or 1 6th scale, uh, this thing that's been out of production for like three years and costs like $8,000. Um, and that's not even including the Batman figure that you'd have to have to buy to ride it, which would be about another $12,000 or some god-awful amount of money. Um, but uh, that being said, uh, thank you everyone out there for watching. Uh, happy Holidays, uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy Ramadan, um, Happy Festivus, whatever else out there I'm missing. Uh, if you celebrate it and I forgot it, I apologize. Uh, but, uh, you know, I'm a bit of a scatterbrain. I don't remember all the different holidays. Um, but, uh, like I said, happy holidays and uh, happy modeling.